Hi everybody, this is project number three, which is painting a jellyfish. And I have a really, really super easy technique for how to paint a jellyfish that I'm so excited to share with you. Um, in your bag this week, you got a bookmark as well as like a postcard sized piece of paper. So you can choose which one you wanna paint your jellyfish on. Um, you can also choose how you wanna do the background. Um, I'll show you how I did one of mine, or you can choose to leave your background white. Um, so this is a quick bookmark I made with the jellyfish that we're gonna be learning how to paint. Um, so let's get into it. Okay, here's how to do the jellyfish. You're going to need those two paintbrushes that came with your kit. And you're gonna start with the square uh, flat brush and take some paint. I'm gonna do orange, red, and yellow for this jellyfish. So take some of the paint and you're just gonna paint kind of a slightly curved line and that's gonna be the bottom of the jellyfish's body. So, Kind of like that. Then you want to wash all of the paint off of your brush so that there's just water on there. And use that to do the top half. So there was just water on my brush, but it's picking up all the paint from down here. And that helps um, give it kind of like a faded look so that the bottom is darker and then it gets lighter towards the top. And you can kind of just use the brush to move the paint around and move the water around where you want it to be and kind of blend it so it's not such a hard line. Um, next, you can add a little bit of salt if you want. I'm gonna add a little at the very top. And then, um, if you've seen on a jellyfish, they have this kind of frilly, um, kind of looks like a tentacle that comes down in the center. Um, I looked it up and it's actually called um, the oral arm. And it's a, kind of an appendage that the jellyfish has that helps them with feeding. So there's a fun fact for you. So to paint that um, squiggly, frilly oral arm, just take some more paint on your brush. And starting right here, just kind of do a squiggly kind of shape. Just moving the brush back and forth. And when you get to the bottom, I like to just move the brush from this way to this way so that I can make kind of a point at the bottom. And that's it. So now I'm going to leave this for a little while to dry because um, I can't add all the thin tentacles until this is totally dry. So let's leave this a few minutes. Okay, the jellyfish is dry and I brushed away all the salt. So now it's time to do all the tentacles. So now you're going to need that thin brush. And I'm gonna do red, orange, and yellow for the tentacles. And you want your paint to be wet, but not too wet because you um, want your lines to be dark enough. And um, sometimes if there's too much water, the paint just kind of spreads out and you want like really defined thin lines. So um, I'm gonna get a little bit of the paint on there and then um, just start here and do a squiggly line down as precise and thin as you can make it like that and just put them wherever you want them to be
And I think it helps if you vary the lengths. So some of them are longer and some are shorter. I think that makes it look a little more realistic. And I'm gonna let the red lines dry for a little while before I do the orange and yellow ones. Um, just because if I go over them now, they will probably, um, the red will blend together with, with whatever color. And I do want them to look um, kind of like this one, like very distinct, not blending together. So I'll let this dry for a few minutes and then try a different color. Lastly, I'm going to layer on a couple of yellow tentacles. And that's it, all done. So um, it may look a little bit difficult, but I really encourage you to give it a try because um, it's really just a couple of steps. It's just that curved line and then filling in the top, making that squiggly oral arm in the center and then adding some thin lines for the tentacles. So give it a try. All right, I hope you enjoyed learning how to paint a jellyfish. Um, I can't wait to see how everybody's turned out, how you chose to position them on the paper or what you chose to do in the background. I think they look cool on a white background, but you can do whatever you want. I'll show you one of mine where I did paint the background. I did this. Um, and so the first thing I did was just use some painter's tape to tape my paper down. Um, that's why I have that white edge around it. Um, and also I used a lot of water in this and if it wasn't taped down, the paper would probably curl up a little bit. Um, they, it tends to do that when it gets really, really wet. So definitely tape it. And um, the next thing I did was just took my brush with just water on it, no paint, and filled the entire thing with water. Then I grabbed some blue paint and just kind of swirled it all over. Um, and that helped to get the paint really diluted because I wanted a lighter background so that the jellyfish would still show up, especially if I chose to do um, maybe an orange one on there, like a lighter color. I didn't want it to be um, too dark that you couldn't see it. And then next thing I did was I shook a ton of salt all over it. So I really like the texture that I got, a lot of salt. And then I waited for it to dry all the way, brushed all the salt off, and then painted the jellyfish just like I showed you. So super easy. Um, I might do a couple like green lines, maybe for some seaweed. I might add another jellyfish over here. Haven't decided yet. But um, I'm happy with the way it came out and 
Um, I hope that you guys give this one a try and send me some pictures. And I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next week.